The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark. The very Steve that went to go watch Imprint Curry do his entire sitcom and afterward took all that Imprint Curry had. How could I follow through with something like that? They don't for even a moment have neither rhyme nor reason. It seems like Steve Harvey is getting into a difficult situation up. Late with murmurs spreading among his satire friends and partners, they're not keeping down getting down on him and spilling the tea on his frequently dangerous way of behaving, so what precisely is happening? In great, first of all, no mystery feline Williams views Steve Harvey as obscure and have loads of carefully guarded secrets above all else. There have been tenacious reports that the renowned mustached rib cracker deals with his staff like garbage bin, you simply regard my space, yet it comes from four. Years of individuals exploiting my graciousness, closely following his syndicated program's enormous move to Los Angeles, Harvey purportedly sent a stunning reminder to his new staff requesting things read. Gullerly saved for visit writers, there will be no gatherings in my changing area. No coming by or popping in, nobody don't come to my changing area, except if welcome, don't open my changing area, entryway, assuming you open my entryway, hope to be eliminated, Harvey wrote in the reminder got in May 2, 2017 by Chicago blogger Robert Feeder. The update proceeded with my security group will prevent everybody from remaining at my entryway who has the aim to see or address me, I maintain that all the ambushing could stop now that incorporates television staff, you should plan an arrangement Harvey guaranteed he was looking for all the more spare energy for me. Over the course of the day, making sense of that, the reminder was shipped off fix the permissive entryway strategy he allowed during his show. Disagreement Chicago, he repeated, that safeguard a couple of days after the fact while examining the spilled letter with diversion this evening. I'm in my cosmetic seat, they stroll in the room, I'm eating them. I stroll in. They don't thump. I'm in the corridor, I'm getting trapped by individuals with companions that come to the give and having me indication this and do this. I just said stand by a moment and looking back, I presumably ought to have taken care of it, a tad distinctively and that is not all it. Seems Williams has serious justification for loathing Harvey in November 2015. They have a similar outlook as a man writer was sued for supposedly pulling out of plans to rent a personal luxury plane, ha! Way through more than $400,000 worth of redesigns he had supposedly mentioned on the airplane, said demands supposedly included custom rug a reconfiguration of the inside lodge from 16 seats to 14 seats custom seat plan, and new upper and lower lodge sidewalls as announced by TMZ Harvey settled the claim yet about a year after the fact he sued the government aeronautics title organization trying to recover the $250,000 he had placed retained to rent the personal luxury plane, the cash was granted to owe him naturally after the organization neglected to answer his claim as though that is insufficient feline Williams as of late raised a ruckus his broad meeting on Shannon Sharp's club. Shea Webb cast one of the elites that Williams uncovered with Steve Harvey Williams suggested that Steve Harvey Harvey copied Imprint Curry's job as Imprint Cooper in Hanging with Mr. Cooper on his series. The Steve Harvey showed the very Steve that went to go watch Imprint Curry do his entire sitcom and afterward took all that. Imprint Curry Han, he likewise stated that Harvey could never make it as a celebrity, which is the reason he sticks to facilitating family quarrel in sitcoms. Then you ask him for what good reason you not a celebrity, I would have rather not been a famous actor, Williams proceeded with this the very not. That detested on Bernie Mac with this equivalent thing. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood consistently not one of them requested a yokel dark man that can't talk great and seem to be Mr. Potato. Head there ain't none you must have range in the meantime Ed Darling has appeared to affirm feline Williams claims about Steve Harvey and his challenges with Bernie Mac. The unbelievable DJ dropped another episode of his Come on Child digital broadcast on January 5th where he supported a Williams story that the comic common on the most recent episode of the club S. Shea Webb recording. He proceeds to say that he should be one of the lords of parody that they moved toward him after Bernie Path. He said in the episode yet he would have rather not gone on the rulers of parody visit in light of Steve Harvey's treatment of Bernie Mac. He has a ton of regard for Bernie Mac subsequent to making sense of that he'd been a companion of Bernie Mac's until the day he passed on Ed Sweetheart. 
proceeded with the stuff that Feline Williams said about Steve Harvey calling to attempt to get Bernie's job on C's 11. And that sort of stuff Bernie let me know out of his own mouth. I accept Bernie Mac, wait. And he said Steve Harvey detested on him. He finished up for setting Steve Harvey alongside three of his companions, surprised the world after they established their position in the parody lobby of popularity 20 years prior, when they went on a parody visit called The First Rulers of Satire the Show. Not just broke film industry records at that point yet, it additionally launched what parody shows have become today. Whoa, was that the best satire visit ever by then? Yes, it was by then, the other three at Entertainers were D.L. Huey Cedric the performer, and Bernie Mac, every one of whom had various styles and furthermore involved material in view of African-American life in America, and dark white contrast, Steve was H. We had the Steve Harvey show, so we had a public program, Bernie Mac was the it. Comic at that point, and D.L. was sweltering, he had a program, Harvey at that point, however, was claimed to be the smoothest of the entertainers, which is a portion of the scoop about why he had the option to progress into TV with such ease anyway. He was likewise the most forceful toward the crowd picking focuses in the first column for remarks on their hair garments and vocation possibilities. Bernie Mac then again had an alternate methodology, something you could call the most hard-edged in a portion of his material even endeavor away from parody and into the injuries of genuine the primary year we did. It was me, Bernie, and ooh, just me, Bernie, and Steve, right? And Steve close anyway. It's a peer Steve Harvey. Could have been envious of Bernie Mac's methodology, and that little hiccup developed into a that went on for quite a long time. Essentially, that is what one of the musicians appears to have recently uncovered to the world, and the web is humming about it, Ernie, uh. Rather not done it any longer. He was on his own way, and Steve, so you. Realize in no way like that consistently occurred for a really long time bits of gossip have circled that during the hour of the fight. Bruce Lords of Parody visit there, with some pressure between Steve Harvey and the late Bernie M, and presently those tales are being tended to by different individuals like Cedric the performer Cedric, who was a piece of the visit alongside D.L. Huey, Steve Harvey, and Bernie Mac, a farmed at the two. Comics didn't appreciate both perspectives, definitely better believe it. I mean, you realize they were the sort of folks that the two of them extremely confident men, you know, like the two of them, they just said, Whoa, different you understand what I'm talking about, yet toward the day's end they had the option to traverse it. He expressed while on Shannon Sharp's digital broadcast club Shay, is that one reason why you didn't do. You did the F you did the principal initial segment second part I. Don't think I think you obviously that was, you know, most certainly a contributing situation anyway. That wasn't entirely there was to there in 2003 Bernie Mac had a meeting with GQ magazine where he blamed him. RV for being envious of him, and attempting to undermine him for specific film jobs, Steve would proceed to address Max's cases in a 2010 meeting, and uncover that he was wounded by Max's words anyway. The cases from Macintosh were like wise affirmed by different gatherings, one of whom is Damon Williams Bernie said in the GQ article that that, when he got C's 11, Steve had contacted the makers and said he figured he would be a superior fit and attempted to get the part in Yakita Yak. And that was some that you realize you don't do while Steve wasn't precisely effective in that frame of mind to take Max Sparkle. It appears to be the comic could have made progress in that line with imprint Curry Steve Harvey. The work after me? Okay. So let me know he never said thank you so. What's happening with you and Steve, man, and ain't nothing with me well? Steve took my material on his show, so I had a thump on that currently in the event that you're pondering. Here's the joke Curry was discussed. Ing, we were unable to manage the cost of no Halloween ensemble. I will send us down to the alcohol store, put boxes on us. I think we UPS, I surmise, I don't have the foggiest idea. And here's Steve's rendition. You've heard me say that each Halloween I had a similar outfit on. I just had an earthy colored box and he just advised me to tell everyone I was an UPS man now. To exacerbate the situation, Curry claimed that Steve purportedly took his comedic material once, as well as two times my thing with Steve. Harvey was, is that he utilized his my material on the two, his foundation, definitely after I conversed with him, I saw him a DJ. I went up and conversed with him, I said, man, you're utilizing my material, the comic uncovered to the Team Z staff that he generally disapproved of Harvey in the past. 
Yet the joke taking continued. He said the comic has guaranteed Harvey made his quips on both the Steve show and in children say the darnest things my thing with Steve Harvey he utilized my material on the two hate. Is Foundation Curry told TMZ staff you're removing cash from my pocket you've made it. Your exceptionally rich quit utilizing my material imprint additionally made sense of I saw him and I went up to converse with him and I said child you utilizing my material removing cash from my pocket. You! Brought in sufficient cash, you're extremely well off. You don't need to remove it from me, however. At that point, he utilized it on his other show, The Children.